Good morning. Thank you all for being here today. This is a fantastic turnout. I know some of you drove several hours to be here, and I, I really appreciate that. So who is the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce? The Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce mission is to connect, inform, advocate, and develop. And everything that we do falls within those categories of our four words and our mission. We are a nonprofit, we're a membership organization, and as Eric mentioned, uh, we are run by volunteers. So everything that we do is driven by our members' feedback, and it's run by you, our members, and our leadership. We do have several divisions that make up the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce and I'd like to recognize all of them. Uh, they all have individual programs of work that are very important to the mission and really uh, uh, work within the communities to make sure that we're better and more effective as one coast. We have the Biloxi Chamber of Commerce, the Gulfport Chamber of Commerce, the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce, the Past Christian Chamber of Commerce, Coast Young Professionals, Leadership Gulf Coast, and Coast Insurance Association. So what is accreditation and why is it important? Accreditation with the United States Chamber of Commerce is the only program of its kind that defines excellence in chamber planning and recognizes chambers for outstanding contribution towards positive change in the communities. The purpose of the U.S. Chamber's accreditation program is to facilitate continued excellence in the chamber industry and to foster a pro-business environment across America. In order to receive accreditation, a chamber must meet minimum standards in their operation and program, including areas of governance, government affairs, and technology. By earning accreditation from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, a, a chamber shows its dedication to reviewing, improving, and promoting strong business practices, recognizing leadership and outstanding contributions to the community, supporting the principles of free enterprise and promoting pro-growth policies at the federal, state, and local levels, and establishing best practices that stay in step with industry change. At this time, I am pleased to announce that the United States Chamber of Commerce has awarded the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce with accreditation status for its sound policies, effective organizational procedures, and a positive impact on the community. Local chambers are rated accredited three stars, four stars, and five stars. We are pleased to announce that after a comprehensive self-review, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce has awarded us with four-star accreditation status. Out of over 7,000 chambers currently operating in the United States, this prestigious honor puts us among the top 3% nationwide. We are the only chamber in the state of Mississippi with this designation. Out of those 7,000 chambers, there are only 89 chambers in the nation with a higher ranking than the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce. This past year, the staff, board, volunteers of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce spent countless hours completing the accreditation process. Our task? demonstrate competency in nine core areas ranging from finance to facilities. The result of our hard work is evident by this impressive rating. But in truth, we should all be extraordinarily proud of this milestone achievement. It's been a team effort. At this time, I would like to invite Angie Jusang, a past president, current board member, and really this initiative started under her leadership forward to read a letter from the governor initiative but uh, it was about two years ago when we were having our planning session for the upcoming year and uh, Brent Henley was facilitating the the strategic planning session and um, he was wrapping it up and he said okay so is there anything else that we want to put up on the board for um, our objectives for the next couple of years and and Kimberly just kind of leaned over and said accreditation I said accreditation and he said okay we'll put that up I had no idea what it was I didn't know what it entailed and then so from there she just 
took off and, and she and her staff have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, you don't go see a movie that has one and a half stars. You don't eat in restaurants that have two stars. So to have four stars out of the gate, that is absolutely phenomenal. And thank you to Jason and to Mike for leading the effort um, with the Government Affairs uh, Committee. And I'm just very excited to read this letter. It says to Eric, but I'm going to pretend it says to me. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you, the Board of Directors, staff, and members of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce on being awarded the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's four-star accreditation. This is an outstanding achievement, undoubtedly a product of superior teamwork by a superior team. Such accreditation validates a chamber as having programs that benefit their local economy and positively influence their community. The Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce's accomplishment is even more special in that your efforts span across multiple communities. U.S. Chamber accreditation recognizes excellence in chamber planning and performance. Your rating places the organization in the top 3% of chambers nationwide. This kind of dedication to business growth, community involvement, and economic development serves as a shining example for others to follow. And I sincerely applaud all the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce has been able to accomplish. Sincerely, Phil Bryant, Governor. Thank you, Angie. At this time, I'd like to thank some people. This was a, an undertaking that took um, nearly two years, and a lot of people were involved and spent countless hours, um, and they gave that time, so I'd like to recognize them. Um, there were several different parts of accreditation that we focused on. The first one was facilities, and Wes Fulmer and John McFarland led that effort. Thank you for your effort. Um, the next one was technology, and Ryan Giles read that. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Amber Olson led Human Resources. Thank you, Amber. Mike Davis, Government Affairs. Julie Gresham and David Duhay, Governance. Angie Juzang, Communications. And Jean Gibson, Finance. Uh, Jason Manley and Eric Cravat played major roles in this entire initiative, so I do, I do want to point them out and thank them um, individually for, they didn't work on just one initiative, they worked on all of it. So um, thank you Jason and thank you Eric for everything that you did. <laughs> Mary Martha Henson is with us today and she is the president of the Mississippi Economic Development Council. Um, Mary Martha's program focuses on development, professional development, part of what she does, for chambers across the state. And she has really supported the efforts of this chamber to allow our staff to receive scholarships to go through Institute of Organization Management, which is a program of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's a four-year certified program that allows us to get the education we need to be industry leaders and Several people on the staff have the AO, IOM designation and several more going through the program. But it's the commitment of partners like the Mississippi Economic Development Council and Mary Martha, um, to her commitment to professional development that allows that opportunity to, for us to be the best that we are. So thank you and your organization. And Christy's with us today with Mississippi Economic Council. They are the state chamber and we work with them on getting information out. Um, they're a great partner. We learn a lot from them. We appreciate our partnership. So thank you for traveling today and representing your organization. I want to thank the Chamber team, so please allow me the opportunity to do that. Um, I, I, I think, obviously I've been very excited about this, but I share that excitement with um, eight other people, and they have lived, eat, breathed this process as well, and I, I want to name them. Um, Rachel Seymour, Rachel Leggett, Emily Pickering, Jenny Levins, Deanna McKaig, Kelsey Bloom, Laura Payne, and Aisa Templeton. Thank you for your countless hours of effort. And finally, I know Eric has already said it, but our board of directors and our past presidents are phenomenal. They have been engaged for so many years, and the amount of knowledge that they have and their expertise and skills and their commitment and service to the chamber is what inspires us to do what we do every day. Um, we have the best board of directors. Uh, thank you all for your service and commitment to ensuring that the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce could be a four-star accredited chamber.
And through the process, no matter if you're a large uh, business as a member of the chamber or small, through this process it validates the services, the opportunities to network, for business to do more business, no matter what your size is, it just provides a high, high value to the membership that you pay to be a part of the chamber. So accreditation um, means several things to our members. First of all, we're an organization that's for you, our members. And when members make it an investment and a decision about their business, um, they, they need data. And when you look at a chamber that's accredited, you know that it's a sound organization. So when you're putting your time and your resources into something, um, you want to make sure that you can focus on what the mission is and how it's going to bring return on investment and value to your business. Uh, the, the accreditation designation allows members to know that you're investing your time and resources in an organization that is ranked the highest in the nation. So the programming, the people, the volunteers, everything is going to be so beneficial to the business because it's been nationally ranked and proven to help what you need.